Okay, so there's no reason for you to be stepping out. I don't know that you noticed that. It's probably due to the, the fact that you're pigeon-toed, uh, making you feel like you need to do that. Obviously, we do not need to do that. You can notice that. So before your left shoulder was pulling off, now that I'm telling you to tilt, it's just exacerbating the timing that was there. Like there's no difference in the timing, it's just a different direction. So before you were pulling uh, your left shoulder like to the Powerade machine, now that you're tilting the right way, now it's just exposing your timing issue. So your shoulders are just early, your hands are early. Like this is heel plant right there, and you're early in both of them. Okay, so it's not, what you're doing on the left is not wrong, you just don't time it. And it's the same thing with, that we talk about throwing. Okay, so I'll show you some examples as to why this is working. Okay, notice, I, did, I just told you to hold the coil. So see how your back knee is internally rotating, like breaking down in? That's a good thing, you're holding your hip. Were you actively turning your back leg or your foot? Okay, good, so notice your hips are turned just as much on the left than they are on the right. So I'm assuming because you've worked with Nate, you've been you've been told to pivot your right foot. Okay, I told you to just keep your left right leg coiled and your hips are still turning. Okay, I'll explain that more, but your hips are definitely turning. Yes, mm -hmm. even though you weren't actively turning them. 